Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarisha, and today our practice is gonna be focused on the lower back, both releasing tension in the lower back and working to strengthen the lower back. You won't need anything for our practice, but if you'd like to, for the very end, for our resting pose, you can grab a pillow just to have nearby um, so that you can grab it, and we're gonna be sliding that pillow underneath the knees when, we when we're laying down flat on the back. So it can be any size pillow as long as there's a little bit of thickness for your knees to release. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start off our practice on hands and knees, and we're gonna be jumping right into activity here. So you'll bring your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Press down into your palms. Inhale, shift your gaze up, lift your tail. Exhale, round to your spine, gaze towards your navel. Inhale to reach your, your gaze and your tail up toward the ceiling. Exhale, round through your spine, gaze at your navel. Continue this movement, matching it with your breath, making sure to draw your navel in towards your spine, especially when you're in your cow pose. So just going through a couple more rounds of cat-cow here before meeting back in this neutral position in our hands and knees, our tabletop position. We'll bring the right knee or the right foot forward in between the hands. And just kind of notice here um, the sensations in the lower body. Notice how your low back feels. And if you need to walk your right foot back a little bit more towards your body, do that. Make that adjustment. And then we're going to press into the feet and slowly come up to our lunge position. So we'll pause with the hands on the top of that right thigh. And rather than sending your hips forward, we're going to focus on building stability in the low back. So you're gonna make right angles here with your knee and your ankle and your thigh. So making sure that you're in this perfect L shape here, press down into your feet, press down into that back leg, firm up through your core, draw your navel in, find length. Hands can stay on the top of your right thigh or when you're ready, you can send both hands up toward the ceiling. Again, resisting that urge to flare out and send this into a back bend. We're gonna keep everything in, so knit your lower ribs back in towards your torso. Wrap your arms up, soften through your shoulders, draw your navel in, and just breathe here. Now we're gonna bring that right hand onto the top of the right thigh and take this into a lean over towards the right. It can be a big lean, it can be a little lean, whatever feels right for you. And if you need to come up out of this pose and maybe tuck your left toes to give yourself a little more stability, you can do that. Lifting back up and then leaning over towards the right. So feeling that sense of stretch on the left side body, but drawing your navel in here really to support your low back and keeping your low back in this neutral position rather than sending the hips forward, keeping everything stuck. We'll come back up through center, release the hands down, bring your arms and your hands down, hands down to the mat, send your right knee back to meet your left, and you can sit back on your heels and just kind of pause for a moment on an inhale, roll your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, soften them down by your sides. Two more times like this, inhaling, rolling the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhaling, releasing them down by your sides. Last one like this. And then we'll come back to that hands and knees position, that tabletop position, and we'll send the left foot in between the hands. Again, just noticing how your low back feels, and you're thinking about really keeping that low back neutral. So right hip forward, left hip back. You can always walk the left foot back a little bit more in space. Press down into your, your foot and your right leg and start to come up. Nice and slow. Hands on that top of your left thigh. And just notice that balance work that's happening. If you need to, for more stability, you can always tuck the right toes back there to help kind of give yourself a little more of a rooted foundation where we're looking for those right angles, thinking about long connection between hip and back knee, lengthening up through your spine so that you can find that core engagement. Again, resisting that urge to send the hips forward to turn this into a back bend. We're just staying stacked and neutral, forcing the core to work here, which is always gonna make your low back feel more supported and stable. 
And you can choose to stay here or start to sweep your hands up toward the ceiling. Again, resisting the urge to splay out while beautiful and graceful, coming back into a more contained space, knitting those lower ribs in, softening through your shoulders, keeping that subtle core engagement here, breathing as well. Good. We'll bring the left hand to the top of the left thigh. Inhale to lengthen up here. Exhale to lean over towards the left. Again, really pressing into your legs, engaging through all that musculature, drawing your navel in, breathing here, releasing tension. And then inhale, come back up. Release your hands down to the mat. Bring your right knee back to meet your left. And this time we're gonna find a child's pose. And instead of taking the knees wide, we're going to bring the knees a little closer together. It might not feel the most comfortable for you to have your, your knees perfectly zipped up. So you might leave a little bit of a space here. And then we'll walk the hands forward, bow the head down towards the ground, and breathe here. By keeping the knees together, we're bringing the sensation of stretch into this low back. So taking it away from the hips and bringing it towards the low back, the focus of our practice. Take one more round of breath here. And then we'll press back up to hands and knees. And we're gonna tuck the toes and send the hips up and back, finding downward facing dog. So you're going to press into your palms, wrap your shoulders away from your ears, send your seat high up toward the ceiling. Knees are bent a little or a lot here. You might nod the head yes, you might shake the head no. And you can pedal it out, bending one knee and then the other, nodding the head yes, shaking the head no again. And then we'll breathe here in our downward facing dog for three rounds of breath. Using this as an opportunity again to notice where your core is, to draw your navel in towards your spine. And then we're going to way forward to plank pose. And you can stay lifted here. If it feels more supportive for your low back, you can lower the knees and untuck the toes. You're going to press into your hands, draw your navel in. Think about sending your spine up toward the ceiling here for five. Fire up your core here for four. No, notice your tension and release it here for three. Last two. Last one. And we'll slowly lower all the way down to the mat. And you might wiggle here from side to side like you're a piece of jello using your hands here to just release. Again, any tension that might be building up in the low back. We'll bend the knees and windshield wiper the feet here from side to side, making this a really gentle movement. And we'll slowly release the feet back down to the mat. We'll take the fingertips outside the edges of the mat so that your elbows are pointing up toward the ceiling. Press down into the tops of your feet and on an inhale, lift up, finding your cobra pose. Firm up through your core. Keep pressing into your toes, into the pinky toes. Draw your shoulder blades together on your back. Shift your gaze maybe about three inches in front of the top edge of your mat and then slowly lower down. Bring your arms back to your mat. Maybe take a cheek here. Sending your breath to your back body. And we're gonna do two more rounds of cobra pose like that. But this time we're gonna keep the palms on the mat. So you'll bring your hands to frame your chest Press into the tops of your feet. Inhale, lift up Cobra Pose. Drawing your shoulder blades together on your back, firming up through your core here for three, for two, last one. Slowly lower all the way down to your mat. Take an inhale here. Full exhale here. And then one more time, press into your feet. Inhale, lift up Cobra Pose. 
This time as you exhale, lower all the way back down to your mat. Bring your arms long down by your sides. Take a cheek here. And we're gonna send our breath to the low back. So as you inhale, feel that part of your back expand and fill up with air. As you exhale, release. Again, sending your breath to the lower back, breathing here, feeling that sense of expansion, imagining as you inhale, you're bringing fresh new oxygen, fresh new healing blood to that part of your body. And exhaling, releasing. One more time like this. And then we'll make a little forehead pillow for ourselves here. Stacking one palm on top of the back of your other hand. And we're gonna bend that right knee out towards the right, coming into a half frog pose. So your right knee is in line with your right hip. Your right ankle can be directly underneath your right knee with your right toes pointing out towards the right. Or you can even close that angle a little bit if that feels more supportive. And if at any point in time you feel any discomfort in the low back, know that you can release this pose. So you'll make that little pillow for yourself and if it feels right for you, you can turn to face the same direction as your right knee. And you'll just breathe here. Releasing through the low back. Softening through the hips. Noticing if there's any work that you're still doing and allowing the body to meet the earth and to feel held by the ground below you. There's no work that you need to be doing other than just breathing here and doing your best to stay present with whatever sensations you're having right now. Take one more round of breath here. And we'll slowly bring that right knee back down and the right leg long alongside the left body, the left leg, sorry, so that you're back in that neutral position. You can wiggle to reset if you'd like. And then we'll come to the second side. So you'll send that left leg out towards the left. The left knee is bent. Left knee is in line with your left hip. That left ankle can be under the left knee. You can close that gap in the joint and uh, bring the left foot towards the, um, the right leg. And you can turn your cheek in the opposite direction, the same direction as that left knee or in the direction of your right leg, your right side. And just breathe here. Again, inviting that feeling of release. Letting go of any work. Giving yourself permission to just truly soften through all of the muscles and stay present with your breath. Noticing how your breath is moving through your body. Take one more round of breath here. And then we'll bring that left knee alongside the right leg so that you've released that pose. And if you'd like to, you can bend the knees and just kind of roll the ankles out in one direction and then the other. And then we'll release the legs down to the mat. And then we'll place the forearms on the mat here. Elbows are underneath the shoulders or maybe a little bit in front of your shoulders. And you'll kind of walk your fingertips forward if you need more space. And so you're making kind of a number 11 here with your forearms and we're coming into a sphinx pose and you can choose to make this active or you can choose to make this passive depending on how your low back is feeling this practice is not just for folks who might be feeling pain and discomfort in their low back it's also to help strengthen the back muscles 
and to help strengthen the core muscles that support the back. And so by making this active, you're gonna press into the tops of your feet, firm up through your forearms and start to send your shoulder blades away from each other. And this is gonna bring some engagement through both the core muscles and the back muscles, mostly the back muscles and the core engagement is gonna be an active decision you make to draw your navel in. So this is the active version. You can choose to do this or you can choose to make this a little more passive. Walking your elbows in front of you, releasing through the legs and allowing your belly to be soft here, maybe even bringing your shoulders up towards your ears. So it's the true opposite pose of the one we were just doing. Um, this is the yin version. The other version is more of the, the yang version, right? The energetic heating one. This is the more cooling, um, sort of relaxing energy. So you can meet your body where you are today. Maybe even heels are splaying out. Taking two to three more rounds of breath in whatever pose you're in, with that, whichever version you're in. And then we'll slowly lower all the way back down releasing the pose and wherever you are let your heels splay out maybe like making that forehead pillow for yourself maybe wiggling out through the low back here like your piece of jello on a plate just releasing tension and then we'll flip over onto the back so just like your uh, pancake flip over in your frying pan or your yoga mat we're gonna bend the knees here on our back and you're just gonna kind of feel into where your feet um, feel best for your low back today. And it doesn't have to be close in like we do when we're, you know, like you might do when you're doing bridge pose. Your feet can be further away from your seat. And we'll place the hands on the space on your torso below the navel. And we're gonna do some pelvic tilts. So as you inhale, lengthen through your tailbone, draw it towards the ground, creating a tiny little arch in your low back. And then as you exhale, round and tilt your tailbone up, tilt your pelvis up, kind of creating an, an arch or a rounding in the low back. And then as you inhale, we're creating that arch, tipping the tailbone, the pelvis down towards the, the ground, towards your feet. And then as you exhale, bring that rounding and tilting your pelvis up. We'll do that two more times. Inhaling to tilt the pelvis, the tailbone down. Exhaling to tilt the pelvis and the tailbone up. Last round like this, moving slowly and gently with your breath. And then we'll come back to that neutral spine and we'll draw the knees in towards the chest, coming into Appanasana. So place your hands onto your knees and as you inhale, you'll take your knees away from you, lengthen through your arms. As you exhale, draw your knees in towards your chest. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to draw in. So as you move here, continuing to move like this with your breath, just allow the legs to be soft and passive. The real work, the real muscles that are working actively are the, the arms as you move your knees towards you and away from you. But this pose is really nice to kind of reset the low back and bring everything back to neutral. Especially if you tend to cross your one leg over the other a little more often or you maybe sit um, in a, like an asymmetrical pose with like one leg perched underneath you. This is a really great way to reset or even if you just need a moment to reset. We'll do this for two more rounds of breath here. And then we'll release the feet down to the mat and we'll come to rest for Shavasana. And so you have a couple of options here. 
for your Shavasana. You can take the heels and the feet toward the edges of your mat and allow your knees to knock in towards each other. This is going to bring your low back to neutral again. It can be really a sweet release for the low back. So this is one option. The other option is to grab a decorative pillow uh, or a regular pillow. It doesn't have to be decorative. Um, and just place it underneath your knees here and then come to lay down on your back. And so this knee, the pillow underneath the knees is also a really great way to help release any tension and stress in the low back. And so we'll just pause here to soften and scan the body for any last little bits of work that you might still be doing. And we'll just rest here for a few minutes. Maybe closing the eyes down. Letting the arms and the legs be heavy. Softening through your eyebrows. Pull your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And breathe here. Knowing that there is nowhere else you need to be and nothing else you need to be doing. Without changing anything, slowly start to bring yourself back to this space, back to your mat, back to the sensations in your body, the way that your breath is moving through you. You can stay in this restful pose for as long as you need to. Otherwise, you can start to take gentle movements to wake your body up, wiggling fingers and toes, rolling ankles and wrists as you're ready. Moving the head from side to side, maybe swallowing. We'll bend the knees and draw the knees in towards the chest, giving yourself a squeeze. And before slowly making your way over onto one side and pausing for a moment on this side to notice how you feel, how your low back feels after taking some of these gentle and invigorating movements as well. 
Then we'll slowly make our way up to a comfortable seated position with the eyes closed or the gaze downward to keep the focus inward. Lengthen up through your spine, soften through your shoulders and sit back into yourself, stacking your shoulders over your hips. Bring your hands together in front of your heart center and bow your head, thanking yourself for making the decision to practice, to move on your mat, thanking your body for moving through this practice and thanking your breath for being the vehicle through which you experience life. The light in me honors and bows to the light in each one of you. And so I say namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me in this practice. As always, it means so much to have your support. Let me know how this went for you by giving me a thumbs up or commenting in the comment sec section below. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so that you can get all the latest videos from me. Thank you so much and take care.